Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix uh, there is insufficient space on the device error on Google Play Store. Okay guys, so if you are getting this error then you can follow this tutorial. So uh, this error happens when you try to download an app on Play Store. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. Okay. So method one we have is uh, you have to check whether your phone has sufficient space in order to download the app. Okay, so in order to do that you have to go to the settings, storage. Okay, so let me go that, go to the settings. And you have to find here storage. So let me find that. Here I have storage. Just tap on it. Okay guys, so here uh, you need to you know delete cached data and check this place okay so as you can see it's now calculating and you have to scroll down and here you have this you know cached data so just tap over here and just you know delete it okay by tapping on it okay so it's now you know deleted let me uh, you know we have to give it some time okay as you can see it's now deleted okay and uh, and check the space okay guys so I already have you know you know 5.41 gigabytes of space available here and you need to check yours okay so and if it doesn't have suppose if you don't have you know enough space available over here in order to download you know the app so you have to uninstall some apps or move to SD card okay and clean junk files and make some space Okay guys, so uh, let me show you one app. I have, you know, this app called The Cleaner and I use it to clean, you know, the zunk files. So it's now opening. Okay guys, so uh, just tap on this analyze over here. As you can see, it's thinking and it just, you know, gives, you know, it just calculates and give me, you know, the space that I can free just tap on clean and as you can see it's now uh, 184 megabytes recovered okay guys uh, just tap over here in order to bring the storage and we just tap on you know this little icon over here and as you can see it's thinking and okay and you can select the you know the file that you want to delete and just you know tap on this delete button over here and it will free some space okay, guys and also they have this you know tab over here and uh, here you can you know just tap on analyze this apps tab and uh, as you can see uh, we can short via install date our apps okay and you can see you know all of you know the apps that I installed on my you know this device okay and I just you know select it suppose if I want to uninstall I can select you know multiple at once and just tap on this uninstall button and uh, the apps will be uninstalled okay guys so I will show you how you can get this you know app the cleaner so uh, in order to get this you know app uh, you have to go to you know this you know your browser that is google chrome over here uh, you might have other browsers like firefox so just open it and open google.com and in search box over here you need to type this the cleaner apk down okay and you have to hit on search button over here and we get this you know the first link from apk for fun.com and you just need to tap over here and you have to scroll down and here you can see this download apk and install okay guys so you just need to download it and install it in your phone okay guys so and also guys you need to you know allow this you know from you know installation of apps from unknown sources so you have to go to the settings of your phone and uh, go to this you know security and just you know allow this unknown sources okay by tapping over here as you can see just tap on ok and it's now allowed okay guys so 
this is really very simple you can try that out okay okay guys so you can try this you know method one and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay okay guys so you tried this method one and it doesn't fix your issue and you can try this method two uh, that is uh, you have to clear cache data and uninstall the updates of google play store so in order to do that uh, you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager so here i have apps just tap on it and uh, you have to swipe to the right to all tabs over here and uh, find here google play store so let me find that where is it so here i have google play store just tap on it and just tap on clear data and then tap on ok and just tap on uninstall updates and then tap on ok over here uh, yeah just tap on ok as you can see it's uninstalling the updates and it's done ok guys and after that you need to go to play store and try to download an app ok so Okay guys, so you tried you know this you know method two and it doesn't fix this here issue. So you can try this method three. So uh, you have to install the latest version of Google Play Store. Okay, so you have to allow installation of apps from unknown sources. I already you know uh, showed you. So you have to go to the you know the settings of your phone and uh, find here security over here and just allow the unknown sources and you are done doing this okay and after that you need to go to apkmira.com and do a search for google play store and download you know and install the latest version okay so you have to go to you know your browser just open your browser and in search in address bar you need to type this apkmira.com over here okay and after it's you know done opening just tap on this you know search icon over here and do a search for google play store okay so here i have google play store and then search for it and uh, just tap on the latest version over here And guys here uh, you can you know download this here you have this download button over here okay just download it and install it and you know go to play store and try to download an app and let's see if this you know fixes your issue okay guys so you tried this method 3 and it doesn't fix this your issue then you can try this method 4 okay okay guys so you have to clear cache uh, cache and data and uninstall the updates of google play services okay okay right, guys so also uh, if google uh, play services uninstall updates button is grayed out then you have android device manager app installed you might have force button is also disabled okay so just deactivate android device you know manager under settings security device administrators android device so let me show you how you can do that okay guys so so you have to you know first of all you know google go to google play services just tap on settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager just tap on it and uh, here you need to go to this all tabs over here and uh, here you need to find the google play services so let me find that where is it so here i have google play services just tap on it okay guys so you need to you know just uninstall the updates over here okay here i have this uninstall updates button okay guys so you might have you know this a uh, grayed out this you know uninstall updates and also the force stop button okay grayed out so how you can you know uh you know get this you know a uh, force stop and uninstall updates okay this button over here 
Okay guys, so you have to deactivate Android device manage. So in order to do that, uh, you have to uh, go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here uh, security. Just tap on security. And here you need to find this device administrators. Just tap on it. And here you have this, you know, Android device manager. Okay. So you might have, you know, checked over here. Let me check it in order to show you. And let me activate it. Okay. As you can see, you might have, you know, this, you know, option enabled. Okay. So you have to disable it. Okay. So just tap over here and just tap on deactivate. Okay. and uh, it's now deactivating and it's now deactivated okay guys so just you know do that and uh, you will have your uninstall updates button and also you know this force stop button uh, will be enabled for you okay so you have to clear the cache data and uninstall the updates of google play services so you just need to you know do that and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so uh suppose guys uh, it doesn't you tried this you know method four and it doesn't fixes your issue uh, then you have to try this method five okay so in worst cases if if you know above methods doesn't work for you then you can do a factory data reset okay so how you can do that uh, just go to the settings of your phone and find your backup and you know reset just tap on this backup and reset and before doing that uh, make sure you take you know backup of your device okay so just tap on factory data reset and here you have this option reset phone okay guys so just tap over here and it will uh, reset your phone okay so you can try all these methods and uh, let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other tutorials bye bye take care